Hi guys, welcome back to ThinkView, my name is William. So this is the latest Asus gaming laptop, Tough F15 2023, one of Asus mainstream laptop lineup. Normally in the mainstream gaming laptop segment, brands often use the Core i5 CPU to lower cost. However, this year Asus has decided to go for the Core i7 12700H CPU and the dedicated RTX 4050 graphic card. So this laptop is priced slightly higher than many other mainstream gaming models in its category. But considering the whole config, it's still a competitive price range. So in today's video, I'm gonna discuss to you that who truly needs this config. And if not, you can always choose the Core i5 in other gaming laptops to save your budget. So, let's explore the improvement in the Asus Gaming Tough F15 2023 together in today's video. Maintaining a consistent design language throughout every year is something that every company does. It helps optimize production processes and enhance recognitions over time. And the Tough F15 laptop followed this principle as well. Compared to its previous version, there are only a few changes, such as the letterpress Tough logo on the front. And this logo is designed on an aluminum surface, not a sticker like on Acer laptops. Asus has introduced some new pattern around the chassis, and this year the WASD key featuring a smoky colors. Overall, there's hardly anything to complain about in terms of the design style. It's compact, it's neat, with a minimalist vibe. It's also slightly slimmer and lighter than the average gaming laptops. The only detail that I'm not really like is the thermal vent above the keyboard. It's diagonally positions and slightly disrupt the overall clean line of the laptops. However, that's just my personal viewpoint. When it comes to the Tough F15 keyboard, it includes a numeric keypad. The keyboard frame extends toward the edges, giving it a streamlined appearance. The keyboard typing experience is good, and the mirrored finish trackpad offers accurate tracking without any concern. The laptop connectivity options are well equipped including a USB-C port with support up to 100 watts power delivery, as well as the display output capabilities. This is a noteworthy feature because not all mainstream laptop offers a display output and charging through a USB-C port. Additionally, there is an Ethernet port, which is crucial for someone like streamers. While regular gamers find this not as important, for someone streaming game, then the stable Ethernet will be important for optimal performance. Speaking of the streaming needs, this device performs really well with the combinations of the Core i7, 12700H CPUs, and the dedicated graphic cards RTX 4050. So now I'm gonna go into what everybody interested in when clicking on today's topic. Let's talk about the i7, 12700H CPU a bit. This CPU is capable of efficiently handling almost all current games. It has 14 cores with 6 high performance cores. In comparison, if we were considered the i5 12500H, it only has 4 high performance cores. You know that many modern games now make use of the 6 high performance cores at the same time, like Call of Duty, Cyberpunk, or Battlefield. Therefore, the i7 12700H remains the ideal CPU for playing various type of games. But I find the Intel strategy is hard to understand here. In the previous generations, the 11th gen i5, such as the Core i5 11500H, already has 6 cores. To explain further, the cores in the previous generations were similar to what Intel now call P cores. However, in the 12th generations, with the introductions of P cores and E core architectures, they limit the Core i5 to only have 4 P cores. I believe this is Intel plans to increase the gaming value of the Core i7s. However, the 12th gen Core i5 still performs very well in a lot of games. It's just that the Core i7 is still offer a better performance, and especially in some games that optimize for 6 core and above, just like some latest AAA games, for example. I think Asus is one of the brands that truly understand gamer experience. That's why I believe that they always go for the Core i7 12700H as the standard option this year. Even though it's not the latest 13 gen CPUs, you can rest assured that the performance difference between these two generations is minimal. Regarding the RTX 4050 graphic cards, having a TGP of 140 watts, the highest performing options on the market, Compared to other RTX 4050 variants, running at 45 watts or 75 watts 
is undoubtedly more powerful. When it comes to talk about how this machine handled the performance, the device always tend to push the performance to the highest possible level as long as it can manage the heat dissipations. The CPU constantly consumes 45 watts, while the GPU draws around 80 to 90 watts. During such time, the machine's performance is significantly boosted, allowing me to achieve up to 400 FPS in playing CSGO. In comparison, another model equipped with the Core i5 CPUs and a similar graphic card only manage around 300 FPS. The trade-off, however, is that the machine's temperatures rise significantly. This high level of temperature is partly due to the device being allowed to consume more power as much as possible. And the rest is because the cooling system is typical for a budget gaming laptop. The solutions, as you can see on the screen here, involve switching to performance mode. In this mode, the power consumptions of both CPU and GPU decrease, leading to a noticeable reduction in the machine's temperatures and noise level. The way this machine reduces its performance is also quite reasonable. It doesn't decrease the overall CPU and GPU power at the same time. Instead, depending on the task, it will calculate which hardware is not essential and then reduce the power to that hardware to keep the machine cooler why not significantly decrease the performance or the FPS in-game. For instance, when playing game like Halo that heavily relies on the GPUs, the reductions might not only be around 10 watts for the GPUs, while the CPU power is significantly reduced when not as necessary. The strategy is quite clever, right? However, for games that heavily relies on the CPU like CSGO, the graphic card's power consumption is reduced in performance mode, while the CPU power remains constant. But switching to performance mode for CSGO, the temperatures remain quite high. In this scenario, users have the option to switch to manual mode to make adjustment for optimal performance. So that will cover the performance, the temperatures, and the machine operational. Additionally, the Tough F15 2023 offer another option with the Core i9 processor and an RTX 4060 graphic card. Those who play AAA title and need an output to extend 2K monitors for gaming, for instance, might find this option worth considering. However, if that's not the case, then the standard version is suitable for working and gaming. But remember to upgrade to 16GB of RAM to fully optimize this device's performance. In terms of display, this is also an area where Asus has made upgrades in this year's version. Last year's model has a screen that covers only 62.5% of the sRGB color space, but this year's model has achieved 100% sRGB coverage. It's now suitable for basic graphic design as well. Since this Core i7 CPU is part of the lineup, utilizing it for graphic-related work makes sense too. Furthermore, it comes with a gaming supportive technology like G-Sync and 144Hz refresh rate. This means you can play both eSports and AAA game title without any issues. Okay, so that's some of my thoughts about this device. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is William, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.